Okay, so today we are going to cover the Ellie Wilson case trimmer. Um, I'm going to go over why I have it, um, what I think is beneficial about it, where I think it stands apart from the others, um, and kind of how it works. So what you get when you order this is you get this unit here from, we see where it's screwed into this base, you don't get the base. You get everything here up. So you get the trimmer, which is the flat trimmer for squaring the case, trimming it down. Uh, your micrometer, the shark fin, and of course the stand, which you could easily just attach to a bench. Um, I like the base because it has this little, um, I'm not sure what it's made out of, but um, nylon type block, uh, which I'll show you how that works. And then it also has a place to hide, to, uh, to store some of your favorite cartridge family case holders. So today I'm going to show you how this works on a 223. Uh, this is a fired case holder. Um, it says right on here, 222 and 223 Remington family. But there are, I mean, they have them for everything. This one's for Winchester short mags. They have them all the way up to, to big things like 416 Rigby and your ultra mags, all the way down to the real little stuff. Um, they also have them for new cases. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've never trimmed a new case that I can remember. If I have, it wasn't in this trimmer. Um, because usually they're too short anyway. And... I like my brass to be at least once fired before I get real serious about my load development anyhow. Um, but it'll say right on there exactly what it is. Um, so before I get into actually trimming, kind of go over the parts here. So we already covered the base and the shell holders. This is your micrometer. This is where you set your length, your trim length. So you just loosen that set screw and you turn this and the rod, it sets uh, so that's the distance between here and the cutter when it's all the way in. Um, today I'm going to be cutting 1.750. So I'll set that there. This is your shark fin. What that does is when you set it, it pushes the case against the stop, which is your measurement, and also holds it down between these two little rails. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's what keeps it centered. So that thing is sitting square against this, centered on these rails. That cutter, which fits in this nice machined slot, comes in and cuts your case. So what you do is you just take your case, stick it in there. I give it a little tap just to make it sure it's nice and tight because it fits the contour of the case. I just go ahead and slide it all the way back and then slide my shark, my shark fin over. Then you just grab the handle, I'm not getting much of a trim on this one, I don't believe. No, nope, it did cut it. It just wasn't too long. I don't know if you can see, but that's a perfect cut. I mean, that thing is just super square and no chattering whatsoever. I suppose you could get chattering if, you're, if your cutter got dull, um, but you can just buy a new one. But this one, after thousands, I don't know how many thousands of rounds that I've, or pieces of brass that I've trimmed, it has no issues at all. I mean, it cuts just great. Um, so one of the reasons I got into this is I've, you know, I'm not gonna bash any other brands cause there's really good stuff out there, but I've had call it style, um, you know, different, all the different kinds of trimmers. And I just never felt like I was getting for one, a consistent length um, and two, a consistently square cut, you know, on your axis of your, your case. I never felt like I was getting that, you know, how, I didn't feel like I knew exactly what I was getting. With this, I can physically see that that thing is right in the center. I mean, it's right in those rails. Everything is just nice and square. I mean, there's no question of what you're getting. <clears throat> um, and then, yeah, you just tap it on there and get it out. And then you can measure I'm gonna make sure you can see that there, but 1.750 every single time. I mean, they're always just right on. And so this thing just, it works. I mean, it's really not that expensive. I can't remember exactly how much it was. I think maybe everything here was a couple hundred bucks. I think these are 20 or 30 bucks a piece, but you know, they never wear out. So, you know, that's a one-time purchase. Um, the other thing that they have is they have a chamfer for this. It's for the inside of the case mouth. 
and so it would work the exact same way. You could just set your your length to where you had the amount of chamfer that you wanted. You put all your cases through there and they're all gonna be perfectly square, just dead on, all exactly the same. I happen to use just the Wilson hand, you know, it has the inside on one side, outside on the other. Um, and I have good results with that. But if I were gonna shoot bench rest or something like that, I might look into that other handle that um, does the inside. Uh, just to make things just that more concentric um, but I've never had an issue with this thing at all uh, the, when I first got it the shark fin you can see this is actually just like a piece of plastic or something I was not keen on that I did not like that I don't like the way that that just sits there and kind of flops around but I, I know that the reason for this is um, well for one the thousands of pieces of brass that I've trimmed I've never had a single issue with it I've never even had to tighten this uh, nylock nut down. Um, I can feel here where it is wearing away from, you know, camming over on top of that shell holder. Um, but if you kind of, if you happen to wear it out and it wasn't giving you the tension you wanted, you just give that a little turn and then you start over. I mean, you're, you got a whole brand new surface there. Um, and they sell this piece too. I mean, you can, all this stuff on here is replaceable if you wear it out, but like I said, I have done thousands of rounds. I've never had a single issue. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty quick. It's not, I don't look at anything in reloading. It's something where I just insist that it be quick, but some people like quick. Um, and I don't think that this thing's really any slower than than anything else out there, but um, I think you'd really like this if you are looking for a way to ensure that you're getting squarely trimmed brass and concentric length just the same every single time. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to comment below. Um, I'm going to start a Facebook page and uh, that way people can reach out to me there. You can let me know if there's an item that you'd like to see covered or if you have more questions about something that I've covered or anything like that, reach out. Um, I'll put a link to this in the description below. And yeah, till next time, have fun reloading.